Well, hello everybody. Is this a scenario that is very relevant to you? Dear Mr. Client, hope all is well. Please may you pass over your bank statements. Please can you send over the bank statements so we can reconcile before the end of the week. Deadline looming. Client, we only have a few days before the deadline. Please can you forward to me your bank statement. Client, despite previous pleads, this is the final opportunity to get me those bank statements. We have until the end of the day. Client bank statements, please. Basically, do you spend all your time trying to get to a client to pass over some bank statements? Well, if you think about it, in their mind, it seems almost irrelevant, like they've connected their bank account to QuickBooks, all the information flowing through, but you're still wanting to get that bank account for those bank reconciliations. Well, fear no more, because this video is all about how QuickBooks is looking to completely change that way and make your life so much easier. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a Chartered Accountant, a certified UK trainer, a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. And one of the things we at Boffix know too well is how frustrating it must be for clients when we're asking each and every month, quarter, whatever it's going to be, for their bank statements. Well, fear no more, QuickBooks has changed the game one more time, and that's what we're going to have a look at now. Let's waste no more time, let's get straight into it. Okay, I'm gonna go straight to where we need to be. So I'm in the accounting section over here. From accounting, I'm gonna to go to reconcile. And the more eagle-eyed of you will notice this little element here. We don't import statements from this account. You need to get this manually. And that's a completely new message that we've been getting. We've never had that message before. But being the QuickBooks chap, I know a little bit behind the scenes. And I've been involved in a beta for, I want to say, three years now, two and a bit years, ever since open banking came into play. And in that beta, we were given the opportunity to be able to not only connect our bank to QuickBooks Online, but also have the ability to download bank statements as we need to. And I was really impressed with the technology. Now, for whatever reason, it's never come to play just yet. And it's been something that has been testing, 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 but never quite come to QuickBooks is obviously trying to find ways and opportunities to make sure that the service works as intended without bugs and everything else. And you'll find that if you look at your version of QuickBooks now, you might want to look if you where you get this message here. Now, earlier in the week, I actually went and had a look at this and I was given a different message. So let's have a look what that message looked like. Well, originally the message looked very different. The message looked like this. And it gave me the opportunity, as you can see there, to view statements. Once I clicked on view statements, I was then seeing all my reconciled and unreconciled statements going through my date ranges with the option to download as well. Pretty neat. Giving us the opportunity to not having to request the statement each and every time, but they automatically appear for us when they're released by the bank. So most banks are gonna be doing it on a month by month basis, aren't they? Now, this makes it really, really easy because what that means is that we don't have to request the information, the information is already going to be there. And it seems like, now, wasn't able to actually test any of this just yet, but it seems like they're trying to take it one step further. They're trying to make it so that we don't have to physically put the numbers into our reconciliation, but there are opportunity there for us to automatically reconcile, which is going to be brilliant. Now, the changes don't stop there. You see, at the moment, we don't import statements for this account. 
Uh, this is a NatWest one, you can see just there, and I've tested on Starlin, I've tested on HSBC, I've tested on Barclays card, I've tested on Revolut, I've tested on Tide, I've tested on a number of different accounts, and unfortunately at the moment I'm getting the same message popping up each and every time. Which suggests to me that this is still testing, something hasn't quite been released fully yet, but we are definitely getting one step closer. But the really interesting thing is what you could do with the information now. So if you've got this area here, yes, you can't manually import, but one of the biggest other frustrations has been solved when we go to history by account. You see, history by account gives us not only the ability to look at our bank statement we might wanna be looking at, but also gives us the opportunity, yes, you've been asking for a while to attach. So I click on attach, I can browse, find the statement I want to, and finally, Yes, we get the ability to attach our statements directly to that reconciliation. Because I don't know about you, but what we've been doing is trying to add them to other areas. We've tried to make it as simplified as possible. But the idea that we can just attach our bank statement each and every month, put them on there, is one step closer to having that really, really easy. So if your bank doesn't support that automatic and download reconciliation feature, then at least you're gonna have a place to attach that document just here, and that's gonna make it so it's really easy for us to go forward. And I cannot wait for this feature to be rolled out. So what are we looking for when that feature is available? Well, it seems to me that the best indication is when you go into the reconciliation page, is you see this little message popping up. We don't import statements for the statement, or if you're really lucky, you can get the view statements option just there. Both of them, to me, makes it look like you're on the new version of the reconciliation process, which should make your life easier. And when I go and I reconcile, let's say this is 100,000 pound, 10,000 pound, I'll do uh, today's date and start reconciling. The whole reconciliation process looks exactly the same, but as I said before, you do get the option once you've completed it. To go back and use history account. Now, my only criticism I have of this is it's not very obvious that we now have the option to attach your bank statements. In fact, I completely missed it the first time around I was looking. It was only when I really looked into it and I was being a little bit more critical that I found that this feature was available. So what I think should happen is when you go and do the start reconciling, it should prompt there to add an attachment right there and there. Almost like a next step, your final bit. I mean, at the end of the day, you should have that bank statement in front of you at that point. It won't take much longer than to put that attachment there so that we know what we're reconciling to. For me, that would make things so much better. But I digress. I mean, at the end of the day, the ability to attach bank statements to our reconciliation is chef's kiss. And the ability to download automatically bank statements is going to be an absolute lifesaver. So, QuickBooks, if you are listening, absolute thumbs up from me. What a uh, change. It's really going to help not only the small business, but also us practice owners as well. This sort of change can save hours upon hours of our time each and every month. Okay, that's all the changes I've got for you today. It's a big change though. It's a change where the more, and you hear this time and time again on this channel, about the fact that every time we learn about the fact that we want to be making sure that data as clean as possible, well, nothing is cleaner than a nice reconciled bank account. And if we can get those basics right, that means we can start using the rest of the tools that are in QuickBooks Online to our benefit. If you like what you see on this channel, then don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz really does help the channel out and we're trying to push ourselves at the moment, get ourselves out of that comfort zone, push ourselves to more people so that more people like yourself can get the most out of QuickBooks Online. That's my aim, that's what I want to do, and a little help from you guys would be very, very much appreciated. So like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody else. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video where I promise you I've got even more great news about QuickBooks Online. And before I go, just comment down below how important reconciliation is. Certain software out there, <coughs> zero, <coughs> where they don't give you that opportunity to reconcile. Now I'm a zero user as well, but it frustrates me no end that I can't have a nice reconciled bank account. For me, 
reconciling a bank account, getting it all done and dusted just gives me so much more confidence out there. And I think it's definitely the right way to go. So comment below, below tell everybody how much you love reconciliation and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.